All right, so if this is a suggestion via a donation, the name of the song is We Didn't Start the Fire uh, by the artist uh, Billy Joel. Listen, if you are new here, please like and subscribe. The more that you like this content, the more that I know that you specifically would like to see more of this specific type of content, okay? Uh, so we have the lyrics pulled up just in case we need them, and we generally do. Um, so let's go ahead and just jump into this immediately. Let's, let's see what this is about, guys. <laughs> Okay, he just mentioned a whole lot of names, um, and I really can't think of anything that, that, like, what do they have to do with each other, bro? Let's figure this out. Let's continue. Okay. Um, <clears throat> the chorus itself is telling more of the story than the actual verses are. The verses seem to just be basically, or the verse itself seems to just be purely about naming things that had nothing to do with this specific group or maybe generation potentially. Um, he's saying, we didn't start the fire. It was always burning. We didn't start the trouble. The trouble was already there and it's always been there, right? Um, since the world has been turning, yeah, so... Uh, it's always been there uh, we didn't start the fire okay we got that no we didn't light it but we tried to fight it um, it seems as if um, just, just the, the, the overall circle and cycle of, of life and humanity in itself right in a sense because like um, yeah everyone every generation tries to fix the issues in a sense of the next generation you get what I'm saying and then the the other generation blames the new generation or the well the new generation blames the old generation for the things that have happened um they're saying that all of these things that we just basically that he just basically listed off right um are the fault of the people that came before whatever generation this guy is a part of most likely um no no we didn't try to no we didn't light it but we tried to fight it um all right let's get it let's continue as of right now the song sounds good very popish though um but it's fine. Let's get it. I think he just he's basically in, in mainly naming things that happened before because like a lot of what he's saying all happened I think this is all like around the 50s or 40s or 30s no no maybe 40s 40s and 50s I think is basically so far basically everything I'm hearing from this guy I don't hear anything that's like more uh contemporary at the very least so he's basically he must be from the generation of what boomers maybe uh potentially um and he's referring to the generation before him. So like um, the early 50s, maybe. All right, let's get it. Sputnik. Was that 1956? No, no. Sputnik. 57 Sputnik, I think. Um, now he's getting kind of closer. So I'm, I'm going to guess that if I was actually um, pay more attention in the beginning, 
um, the beginning of the song was, I think this, this may be in chronological chronological order, because the last ones were like 55, 50, 54, somewhere in that range, 52s, early 50s. Now he's talking about late 50s. So, all right. Belgians in the Congo was 1960. Yeah, I think that this is in uh, some form of order. I actually would love to actually dig into this song a lot deeper and actually speak about a lot of the things that he's saying because a lot of the stuff that he's pointing out are interesting and uh, definitely conversation worthy. Bay of Pigs was uh, 1961. This man said JFK blown away. China's under martial law. Um, I think they're referring to the um, the incident at uh, Tenement Square. Um, that happened in 1989 or 1990. I think it was 1989, the year my wife was born. <laughs> um, yeah, that was Tenement Square, pretty, almost positive. Um, China under martial law. So actually, he is coming from... Wait, hold on, wait. So maybe, maybe his generation did start that fire, bro. All right, <laughs> let's get it. Yeah, so so basically, from what I'm getting from this is that um, potentially um, this is the song is for the people who point their fingers right at other generations and say your generation was crazy, right? But not realizing that it's a cycle. There's everyone's generation is crazy, right? Every era that that everyone lives in has been crazy since you know globalization or even before globalization the concept of it right because now we now know what goes on around the world guys it is what it is um like for example when people say um there's a singer cardi b and uh megan stallion put out a song called wop uh it is a nasty dirty song right and people are like generally um some of the um the people from like i don't know just an older generation would be like that song is disgusting it's terrible but they've never heard like um, like dirty blues from like the 1920s, um, so I don't want to hear it. <laughs> I don't want to hear that Cardi B and Megan Thee Stallion have a dirty song called WAP. Have you heard a, any dirty blues from the 1920s? If you haven't, it exists, and that is dirtier than Megan Thee Stallion and Cardi B. All right, it is raunchy. All right. Um, look for a song called uh, Shave Em Dry by Lucille Bogan. I think the recording time was uh, 1924 or 1934. One of these, I may be off by a decade, but somewhere in that range of time, Lucille Bogan, Shave Em Dry. And then you tell me if that generation wasn't crazy. 
Oh, how selective memory works, right? Ooh. All right, listen, um, yeah, the song is amazing. I think it's um, it's a great conversation starter. Um, so just let me know in the comments of the next one of these from him I should be listening to, and I'll get to it as soon as I possibly can. All right, and uh, listen, you guys all have an amazing day, and enjoy it thoroughly. All right? Mm-hmm.